greenhouse was started in 2011 by an eager group of Ecology House residents. Before this time, the Ecology House had a garden, but these students really wanted a permanent place dedicated to growing food, especially in Ithaca's cooler months. So they fundraised and applied for grants, and eventually got all the money and permits they needed to build the structure. In 2012, they harvested their first crop, and since then, Project Greenhouse members have helped improve and maintain the student-designed and built greenhouse. As a club, we use the greenhouse as a tool for learning more about agriculture, sharing produce, and reaching out to the greater Cornell community. All students are welcome. I'm Hayden Burridge. I'm co-manager of EcoHouse Project Greenhouse, and I'm taking you on a tour of our greenhouse today. Um, so first off, here we got some string netting that we have hanging from the middle, and that's to help the crops in the center here grow vertically up and catch as much sunlight as possible. Um, here on this side, we're growing several different types of plants this year. Down here, we have some uh, cabbage growing out from little heads. Uh, here we have some raspberry plants. They've been a little dry this year, but we still have got some pretty good harvest coming from these plants specifically. Just gotta watch out for the thorns. Um, down here, we got some tomato plants starting to grow their vegetables. And down at the end, we have a nice eggplant growing from the top. Um, over on the tables, you can see the big rain barrels. Those are to collect water that we collect from the gutter system on the outside roof. And uh, that water then goes down into the pipes. And these pipes form a drip irrigation system where we continually water the plants little by little throughout the day. Um, in this soil here, you could actually see um, some scraps. Uh, these actually come from the compost bins that we have in the back of Eco House. And I'm a member of the Ecology House. Uh, I'm a senior this year, and my freshman and sophomore year, I was really involved in Project Greenhouse. Uh, but recently, I've transitioned to an advisory role for one of our student uh, committees, Eco Eats. And so most of my interaction with Greenhouse now comes out of this kitchen. So the committee that I advise, we do a lot of programs based off of cooking and eating, surprise, Eco Eats. And a lot of the food that we use actually comes out of the Greenhouse itself. And so in the fall, when all the students get back, we go and we harvest and we bring everything into the kitchen and we decide what we're going to make and how we're going to cook. And it's really fun uh, because all of the new students get to come and get involved and see how Eco Eats and Greenhouse work together. Um, and on that note, one of our main fixtures in the kitchen is our compost bin. So any food scraps from Eco Eats programs and any food scraps that occur just during daily life in general from residents um, are put in the bin and then anyone can take responsibility to empty it out back in our compost pile. So that could be Eco Eats members, Greenhouse members, or just your average resident. Um, once it's emptied into the compost pile, then Greenhouse takes it over and they manage turning it and watching it as it turns as it becomes soil. And then they use that soil in the greenhouse to grow more food for Eco Eats to use in the future. And what food you may ask, if you see over here, um, we've actually recently brought some of the plants from Greenhouse into the house itself, which is really convenient for Eco Eats because now we don't even have to go outside to our backyard to get fresh food. We can just walk behind our kitchen. Um, but what they grow is actually determined by the community itself. So every year they ask us what herbs we'd like to see, what vegetables, what fruits. And then that's um, what, they, what seeds they order and what they plant. 